Yeah, I've always wanted to Dan Seed Grave cover. I, I just think, or back in the day when I used to buy death metal albums, that's the first thing I'd see. I'd go into the shop and a cool, cool album cover. And um, sometimes I bought albums just because of the cover, and I found some really good death metal music because of that. Um, Defleshed Mabel Scapel from uh, they're from Sweden. Um, that's an amazing album cover, and I wouldn't have found them if it wasn't for that cover. So. We've used Dan Seagrave for a matter of consistency. We really liked what he achieved with the first, um, with the first album cover, and we've got a bit of a, a bit of a theme, you know, within um, what we're trying to achieve with the artwork. The first album cover was very much a funeral procession over a ravaged, battle-scarred landscape, um, and the album cover for the Silent Vigil kind of moves on from that to maybe the next phase beyond the funeral procession to where the coffin, we use the same coffin, um, is lying in state. Um, so that becomes the central focus of the, of the album. So, and the album is all about kind of like the, the next phase of mourning and grief in a way. Um, you know, very much so with the, uh, with the album, it's, it's almost like there are several phases to, to grief. And morning, and, and the first album in itself was very much concentrated on the initial first stages, which is the sorrow side of things. Um, this next album kind of moves on to the next phase of that process, uh, which is more about the anger and the hatred and the vitriol that uh, comes through that experience. So that's kind of reflected. The cover itself is very uh, um, reflective of. of it's a silent vigil, so it's, it's a very mournful, silent view where there's masses of people paying tribute to the body of the lost emperor, whatever you call it, uh, lying in state. So yeah, it follows a pattern, and um, yeah, we intend to con continue with that pattern for uh, for the next album as well. The lyrical theme to the the new album is is um, is quite different to the lyrical theme from the first album. Um, so that was mainly about grief and sorrow. And I kind of kept on more with the themes of of war, which has been a constant theme throughout my lyrical writing um, career. However, with this new album, uh, with newfound confidence maybe and the um, ability to explore new areas not being set within specific parameters or formulas that I may have had to keep to before I feel a lot more comfortable in the lyric writing process and have been able to be a bit more well a lot more reflective upon the world around us so this album the lyrical content on this album is a lot more reflective about the real world that we live in it's about issues that affect us all um, from a personal perspective as well. There's, there's songs on there which are about dementia, um, which is something that I've experienced with my mother over the past year. Um, it's something that we've, we've, we all experience at some point in life, uh, mental illness. It's a, it's a massive factor in a growing ageing population. There's a lot of issues in there uh, about um, a race and um, and ideologies around that. So yeah, well, I've generally tended to write more songs about real things on this album, which has been yeah, it was a challenge because it's kind of outside my what I normally do. It's outside my comfort zone to a certain extent. So it's difficult, but you know that's what being creative is all about. It's trying to rise to that and, and challenge yourself to uh, to write about things that that really matter. And at this stage of my career, I'm really kind of quite um, confident to do that and. You know, I feel as, a, as an artist or uh, as a musician that it's my position to actually get the soapbox out and stay, say about the, the world that we live in today and, and the things that affect us and the way I feel about life. So, um, yeah, I'm quite proud of the way that the lyrics have come out on this album. It's, it's, they've got a lot more personal meaning to me and the band as a whole. Mm -hmm. 